In your previous lesson, you learned so much about the physical properties of solid materials. This time, you will learn the different changes that materials undergo. In this lesson, you are expected to describe changes in solid materials when they are hot. Let us have a short review of our past lesson. Identify the action being done in the picture. Yes, this is bending. Correct. This is pressing. You are right. This is hammering. Very good. This is cutting. Can you name this object? Very good. This is a scissors. Yes, this is a knife. This is a paper cutter board. This is a pliers. Class. We use these objects to cut things. Scissors are used for cutting various thin materials such as paper, cloth, rope, cardboard, wire. Knife or knives are used for chopping, slicing, and doing any other jobs. When we say cutting, it involves the use of physical forces to cut an object. May it be pointed objects, blade, scissors, or other machines into contact with the material being cut. What happened to solid materials when cut using scissors? Let us observe. Solid materials may change their size and shape. And no new material is formed. What happened to solid materials when cut using knife? Let us see. Solid materials may change their size and shape, and no new material 
like this form. What happened to solid materials when cut using paper cutter? Solid materials may change their size and shape. And no new material is formed. What happened to solid materials when cut using pliers and machine cutter? Let us see. Solid materials may change their size and shape, and no new material is formed. When cut, these materials may change their size and shape. It only changes its physical property. No chemical change took place after the object has been cut. Not all solid materials can be cut using a simple scissor. Some solid materials like iron, steel can be cut using machines. An example is a metal cutter. sharp objects like scissors and knife, be careful because you may hurt yourself and others. If you were the worker who is using metal cutters, how can you protect yourself from danger, accident, considering the fact that the edges of sheet metal are razor sharp. Of course, you are going to use protective gears. And you have to take extra care in cutting materials. 